All right, folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. Today we're going to take a peek at mid-range, a mid-range device that I think is worth a look if you're not looking for budget. Now, obviously, I'm not going to recommend this because the whole point of this channel is budget phones. But picture upcoming, this is a Zenfone 6. It's a nice looking phone zero bezels it's got the headphone jack still it's got dual sims and a micro sd expansion comes with 64 gig of ram or rom or storage uh, six gig of ram ips display yeah you're not gonna get amoled here but you're gonna get a phone that pretty much fits where the one plus used to before they decide to become greedy and go flagship it does have a motorized camera very cool so we'll do the intro and we'll get right to it all right today we're looking at this uh this is Zenfone 6. And I got to admit, I'm really impressed. I've got a couple of videos I picked out that had very positive reviews of this. We're talking a $500 IPS display with full HD plus whatever. Does 4K video recording and bonus. You'll notice it right here if you watch my cursor. There's no damned notch. So, uh, first we're going to look at the, a little bit of Dave2D's take on this. I will link all three of these videos in the description below. All three of these guys gave this uh, a pretty positive review. So, let's go for that control to be like a double tap or press and hold so you have a couple options with that the battery in here is also quite big it's a 5000 milliamp hour battery it doesn't support crazy fast charging it only goes up to 19 watts for the charger which is reasonably fast but it's not as fast as like some of the big boys out there it is a giant battery though i cannot stress like this is a comfortable two-day battery for the average user if you're using it more heavily you'll get like a day okay now he was pretty positive let's go over and look at Lou over at Unbox Therapy and uh, see what he has to say. Hi, but it's a very similar experience to stock Android. Okay, now I'm not even going to try to snap a rear camera yet because I'm just too curious. I got to hit this button. Here we go. Oh, it flips out. It flips up. Did you witness this, Jack? Why has no one thought of that? Look at this. Ready? It looks to me like we are fully in the era of motors on smartphones. As he pointed out, it's a motorized selfie cam. But it contains the same lenses, the quality lenses you have on the back of the phone. Very important. Ignore the motorized part, the OnePlus 7 Pro which costs hundreds more than this. And this one has the same processor, the Snapdragon 855. It'll play games all day. It's an IPS display. Deal with it. It's a $500 mid-ranger that punches way above its weight. So last but not least is uh, Mr. Who's the Boss. And uh, I don't, I mean, I watch all this stuff, but I rarely put it on my channel as a liked video. You'll notice we're watching this as me under my name. So you can also use the volume keys to adjust the camera angle manually, but I do wish that the module had a constant acceleration. The actual motion is a little juddery, so that kind of restricts what you can do with it. 
More importantly though, this is thankfully not just a funky looking camera setup, it's actually a really capable one too. The main camera is 48 megapixels, based on the same IMX586 sensor as the OnePlus 7 Pro. You get really powerful high dynamic range and a great looking night mode, which actually takes 16 raw photos and meshes them together. I did a couple of side by sides with the OnePlus 7 Pro. As you can see, the camera is pretty darn good and it has a night mode. So what's not to like about this phone at 500 bucks versus the OnePlus Pro 6? Nothing. No notch. Full screen, 6.4 inches, I think. Not quite so big as the OnePlus 7 Pro, whatever. Uh, but you're getting a lot of bang for the buck at $500. $499, I believe, is what the going price is going to be when they get around to asking and selling. So that's all I have in this section. I'm going to come back and do a little talking. So, some final conclusions on this. Uh, this is a pretty darn good phone. All those reviews will be linked in the description below. Make sure you actually read that. And check out their links. I mean, I don't like you know, borrowing clips from them and people not going and seeing their whole video. Um, in the meantime, um, we got a little bit of channel news here. There's a quickie. We might have a phone coming in to uh, play with, test, unbox, do things with. We'll see. That's upcoming. Um, and of course, as usual, please, if you found this the least bit helpful, give us a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And then maybe hit the bell icon so you get notified. It would help us a lot. You don't have to watch the video if you see a title and go, well, I don't care about that. No one's making you watch it. And make sure to share it. That's all I got for today. We'll link some recent videos up in the corners. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.